it's Pete here and I'm back for another fun bridge tournament. Let's go win some bridge. Let's get straight into it. When you're in fun bridge, all you have to do is cl click get started slash praxis exclusive tournaments. And then you'll see it here if you played it before. Otherwise, view all tournaments and search for bridge vid or Pete Hollands. And here we've had 150 people playing and the winner so far is Bulls and Bears. Second place, Paychev. And third place, Jerowit. Uh, so well done to all of you. <laughs> this hand is fantastic. It's a new one. I haven't seen that one before. So uh, see who else has joined because I'm sure there's a few new names in here. Just have a quick scan through just to see uh, how people did. Must beat Pete's meat, 54%. I saw that Steph's dad did better than Steph, so that's always good to see. me again I haven't seen the um, uh, must beat Pete okay 39% so there's the uh, benchmark that I have to go for okay so 151 people um, but uh, let's jump into it and see if we can uh, go one better pass pass to me five five eleven count so one heart opening two diamonds two hearts I want to compete to three hearts here the good shape means that I think it's worthwhile. Uh, the opponent's ran to four diamonds, okay. I'm not sure why East would remove three no trumps, but uh, it seems pretty reasonable. So when competing, usually we want an extra trump, but the five five shape is just so offensively minded that I thought it was worthwhile going. Um, anyway, we get the two of hearts lead. So going with the queen. Two rounds of hearts, ace king of hearts, taking a working spade finesse. Looks like things are going pretty well. I, I think they're making uh, probably eleven tricks. They've got what six diamonds, two hearts, two spades, three spades. So, we'll just get whatever club tricks we're entitled to, and then they've got the uh, rest. Yeah, so 11 tricks, that should be a good board. Um, Theranomby123, uh, hey Pete, how's it going? Um, yeah, good, just finished another plays day, um, which went reasonably, um, finished fifth in an event. Um, but uh, moving on, uh, Four comments on this one. Uh, ten people got to play in four hearts on double down two, and five got to buy it in three hearts. So someone opened two hearts. Other people got to four hearts. Uh, they did three hearts, and then also bid four hearts, and somehow this didn't get doubled. Um, but the opponents, as long as my partner leads a heart, they have an easy, well, not an easy, but they have three no trumps. Um, anyway, four comments on this deal. No room to bid clubs, unfortunately. I'm a bit surprised so few of us went to four hearts. Did I miss something? I like my my opponents playing four minor. To be happy, they have to make exactly ten tricks. Four hearts would be doubled for minus 300, a low percentage. Considered four hearts, but as Akamani said, too likely to go for minus 300 after three no by West. Uh, what event was it? Uh, I played the ANC uh, Swiss Pairs... Um, yeah, ANC Swiss Pairs. It was alongside the, there was a, like a bunch of other events, um, but had a couple of reasonable days. Moving on to board number two. Yeah, so uh, with my five five chip, I had no real hope of making four hearts, so I didn't feel the need to bid to four hearts. Bidding four or hearts over four diamonds, I thought would get doubled or push them in. They can make five. Five's not really a great contract there, but um, it does make. Anyway, uh, 10 highs, flat hand, one club on my right. I've got really good clubs here. Um, okay. Club, spade, double, redouble. Redouble's just to support redouble. Um, I've got some diamonds and some hearts. Uh, two diamonds seems pretty normal. Uh, my points are pretty good. Uh, we might actually be able to, like, playing hearts could actually be somewhat sensible as well. Uh, playing match points, because... 
they attack spades, I can just rough in the um, shorthand, which... I was just going to bid two diamonds, up, but I was like, I've got like a two and a half diamond bid. I'm just going to go out on a limb and try and play in a 4-3 fit because it's match points. Right. I'll compete to three diamonds. My partner might correct here to three hearts. Um, no. Uh, but two hearts, if they let me play it, those hearts are rubbish. Uh, club lead, my partner's got 12 highs up my 10, so 22. 18 missing. So looks like they're 12 and 6, and West has a 5 card spade suit. Um, they haven't led a spade, so West doesn't have Ace King of Spades. Uh, looks like I want to finesse West for the Jack 10 of Diamonds first by leading low towards the 7 of Diamonds, and then finesse them for the King of Diamonds next. I could play East for Dalton King if I find out more information later, but. Uh, uh, win a club cheaply. I've still got two two spade losers, two heart losers, and some diamond losers. But here, if West has Jack Ten Third, this will uh, force out the king. Spade to the king. Okay. Diamond up. Uh, so they could have 10 doubleton or uh, king 10 third. So I think I should still finesse. It looks like East has king, queen of hearts, ace of spades is 9, queen of clubs is 11, jack of diamonds is 12. So I reckon the finesse might work. No. Okay, so we get uh, the diamond in there. Um, I've still got a heart and a spade to lose. I can rough my other club, but uh, we'll pull a club over and then lead a heart up. I think West might have the uh, top heart. Okay, at this stage... West might have the ace of spades. So, a couple of options. West could have... Uh, Five spades, two diamonds, two hearts, and four clubs. Well, I've got five spades, three hearts, three clubs, and two diamonds. So if the queen of clubs is dropping, I want to go king of clubs, and then ten of clubs. If the queen of clubs isn't dropping, but West has five spades and four clubs... Um, then I can cash the king of clubs and then lead, if I don't see the queen, play the jack of spades. Um, uh, I won't be able to set up the heart if I cash the king of clubs. So if West has a 5 2 2 4, I'm, I can't make, I, I have to do too much roughing. So we'll see if the queen of clubs drops. And we'll see if West just has to win. No. East has shown up with a lot here. West was quite weak. Um, but down one. But they probably make uh, two spades. Ah, so they did have the queen fourth club. 79%. So that was pretty good. Uh, one, Two people did make three diamonds on this deal. We can make one no trump. I think I prefer one no trump to two diamonds after the redouble. You want a heart led not a diamond, and Wes is probably going to bid spades again anyway. He must have at least five on this auction. For some reason, the robot decided to overtake my club jack switch with the ace and return a club to crush its own natural trump trick. Okay, that's kind of pretty weird, um, what they do. Uh, bidding one no trump there. My, I was worried like I just don't have spades. I've got clubs well covered, but uh, they're trying to show spade fit. If my partner had implied spades, I'd be more keen to do that. I do agree that bidding two diamonds is... Like, it doesn't feel great. Um, so, I understand why uh, some people didn't do it. Anyway, uh, I'll take my 79%. One no trump is definitely something reasonable I could have uh, considered more. I thought two hearts was going to play pretty well in the 4-3. Um, 11 highs, favorable vulnerability, 2-5-4-2. Nice, easy one-heart opening, um, even at 
uh, like favorable vulnerability I think that's definitely worth opening her partner game forced with four hearts so I have no shortage and a minimum so I'll just jump to four hearts here okay partner has a fantastic hand and the opponents have a 10 card spade fit but didn't get in on the action uh, we get a diamond lead that might be away from an honor but I've got at least a club loser and maybe a couple in diamonds or one in diamonds uh, I can potentially finesse their diamond later but uh, we'll draw trumps ending in my hand and then just lead a diamond up so another heart and they're 2-2 two, two. the spade I'll trump got king queen of clubs for those two so we'll just see what happens in diamonds so we've got another diamond loser so mm -hmm. losing a diamond and a club so 11 tricks pretty boring hand <sighs> all right but the uh, lead did help us I don't think I've uh, stuffed up this claim but you know maybe 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 I thought they probably should be able to accept that one Okay, the north out. Yep, yeah, good. But got to the point where they conceded. 128 people. Uh, that one was pretty flat. Uh, although some people only made 10. Some it stopped in three hearts. Some all the way in six hearts. So a bit of variation there, but should have been pretty uh, flat there with uh, four hearts making 11, I think. Moving on to board number four. This time we got a 2164. Pass, pass a heart. Okay, so I could consider pass two diamonds or three diamonds. My hand's not great. It's not really worth a two diamond overcall, but my partner is a passed hand, so I don't think they'll get excited. And if the opponent's playing spades, I do want them to lead a diamond. Um, they probably will play in uh, hearts, though. Um, I could consider bidding three diamonds. I've got a 6-4 shape, but the vulnerability is pretty sketchy for that. Um... I reckon I'll just try two diamonds, the off chance that they don't end up playing in hearts. Okay, double, take out double. All right, I'll bid three clubs. Okay, that'll be it. Um, uh, the Ren, how do I pronounce your name, by the way? The Renumbi, the Renumbi? I don't know if it's like two words or one. One, two, three, seven. I haven't been doing well in these weekly frees. Any advice? Okay, so first of all, for the Funbridge tournament, just because it's basically just in the people that watch these videos, the quality of this is probably better than the weekly free instant vi uh, tournament on BBO, um, just because... Uh, um, the, the BBO was just played by everything, but uh, this one's probably played by people that are actually trying or to get better, slash also uh, some high quality people in there. Um, so I do reckon doing well in this is significantly harder than the weekly free instant tournament. Uh, any advice for doing well in this is you don't really need to try and... Um, like if you're just aiming for the top quarter, you don't need to try and go for top boards all the time. Just try and do sensible bridge. Um, you don't need to... Um, like, you, you don't need to go crazy. If you do want to try and top this, though, uh, there's, you can try and make decisions that you know will be swingy. Like, if you don't care about coming in the bottom, like, half most of the time, but really aiming to uh, win it, you can really try and take swingy decisions so if your goal is to win it uh you want to choose like swingy decisions like maybe you got a major suit fit but you know like hey well, let's just try no trumps without any uh, great reason or things like that you could consider for trying to top it if you don't care about doing really bad most of the time like i, I don't think i've ever actually won this tournament but usually place in the top half to top quarter 
Um, but I just try and do sensible stuff and try and really focus in on the card play. That's probably the more important area than um, the bidding. Most people are decent bidders. Anyway, uh, my partner's got spades here and some points. Um, West has some length and hearts. To me, it looks like ten of spades. Leading a doubleton with a singleton hearts a bit sketchy um, because my partner might try giving me a, a heart, a spade rough. Um, but I think I just want to lead spades because I think that's the suit they're most likely have some values in. I want them to spades, diamonds, through sort of thing. Okay, I well, might just get a rough with my doubleton, which is good. Spade, 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 and then they returned the um, the nine of spades. So I think they can probably get diamonds. I don't know if they give suit preference here or not, um, but that is their highest spade. My partner should also know that, like when I led the ten, I don't think it could have been a singleton um, with East having three, four. Oh no, it could have been triple four one. So there was that chance for. Um, a singleton, but if they play suit preference, I just have to cash diamonds. If they don't have the, like, if they have the king of diamonds, they could have like switched to a diamond straight up. Um, oh, like if they don't have the king of diamonds, they probably should have switched to a diamond, maybe. Uh, like if it, if I was playing with a human player, it'd be easy ace of diamonds, diamond. Um, with a robot, it's a bit sketchy, but uh, I think I need less from this, so we'll go for it. Okay, yeah. Yep, there, there was it. Uh, wrong switch. Had to play a club. So, seventeen percent. Uh, some people defended four hearts, beat it one or two. Uh, some people beat three hearts a trick. We could have made four clubs. Do the robots play any sort of counts? I played high low and spades, but got no rough. I let a high spade and got a rough on the third round. Um. Yeah, so this one, and yeah, no, no one mentioned that the robot doesn't give suit preference, but suit preference would have been nice there. Um, right, so. After the ten of spades lead, my partner has to work out whether I've led a singleton or not. Um, East could have five hearts for... Right, they know I've got a singleton trump. I don't think I'm likely to be 6-5 in the minors, so I feel like they could switch to a diamond then and there. But uh, spade, 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 and this is one where suit preference really clarifies what I should be doing, because if East has, like, king, queen, third club, and oh, like King Queen Dalton Club even. I switch to a club. It goes club club, draw trumps, ditch a diamond, ditch a diamond, claim. Um, so I need to know which king my partner's actually got. And usually the nine of spades would say they like diamonds, and the six of spades would say they like clubs. But uh, not today. Um, anyway, I don't have a new puzzle for you, but uh, last week I had uh, this puzzle, which was a blindfolded man is handed a pack of 52 cards and told that exactly 10 of these cards are face up. And he has to divide these cards into two piles, each with the exact same number of cards facing up. Um, so without peeking, um, how can you actually do this? So what you want to do is you want to separate them into a pack of 10 cards and a pack of 42. And then the 10 cards, you just want to turn them over. What this does is all the face up cards become face down and vice versa. But the way you can think about it, let's say we deal off uh, 10 cards and we have absolutely no idea how many of them are actually face up in that. Let's imagine that we start with zero. If there's the 42 pack would have 10 cards that are face up and the other one has zero, but when we turn it upside down, it's 10 and 10. Whereas if we imagine that, uh, let's say there was seven cards that were face up in our pack of 10, that would leave three in the other one, but when we turn it upside down, it's now three and three. Uh, so that's how you can actually do it. Moving on to hand number five. Uh, 14 points, pass, pass to me. Nice, easy one club opening. 
double paths to diamonds. Um, I don't really have anything more to say. Partner can't bid. Double two spades, three no trumps, four spades. Okay. All right, so dummy's got a seven count. Wester's bid, two spades and four spades. And there's one spade in the dummy, so my partner's probably got five spades or else West has eight. Uh, club lead, it looks like we'll get a couple of hearts. They've got, um, partner doesn't have much in the way of points. So there's six diamonds, so diamonds are six, four, blank, blank. I don't know how many diamonds I have to hold on to, but let's see what happens in clubs. Okay, clubs are six, three, three, one. Um, okay, I don't need to not play another club because they'll just trump that low. I think that'll be good for them. So I'll just exit a heart here. Ace of diamonds. Partner gets to trump in. I am really not too relevant in this, but uh, it looks like my partner's baiting this one. Yeah. Okay, hooray! Woo! I did absolutely nothing there, I thought. Uh, four spades doubled, three no doubled. What are people doing? Um, one club, double, pass two diamonds, pass two spades, pass three no, double. I... That... <laughs> I wasn't too keen to double, um, like... You know West has long spades, but spades aren't breaking, I guess that's kind of relevant. None of the suits are breaking for them. But you know partner's got no points. Um, I guess double's not so bad. I'm surprised they sit it, but I guess that's kind of sensible. Um, worked well if you doubled it. Uh, some people doubled four spades. I thought that was... Okay, firstly, I don't like three clubs. I don't see much point in uh, bidding three clubs over it. Doubling four spades is particularly pushy looking at two defensive tricks and hoping your partner, who's a past hand, uh, to... How much the robot... How does the robot not double fight with five spades? Well, it depends on what auction. Like, with one club opening and no other bidding, I, I wouldn't be doubling with that. Uh, like, maybe. Like, you got jack nine fifth. You probably got two tricks. No guarantee that uh, your partner's got two, but probably. You could consider it. I don't mind it, I guess. Currently at 50%. Uh, we'll move on to hand number six. I've got a three, six, three, one. <laughs> they open a heart. Some weird breaks in this one. I kind of want to like double, <laughs> just say. There's a penalty bid. Shows that you think you can defeat the opponents. Well, I don't think that. All right, so Dan came down with 12 points. Got the five of clubs lead. Uh, looks like I'll be able to get two hearts and a spade is three. Um, my partner didn't lead a spade, so they've probably got five clubs here. And five clubs, four spades, one heart, and three diamonds. Uh, something like that. I think uh, West probably has four diamonds. Um... What's going on in clubs? Ten of spades, okay. Uh, if my partner's got five spades, they really, really should have led a spade. Um, but if they had five, I probably need to duck this and then my partner gets in get to cover the queen. If they've only got four, then they get just two spades anyway. Ah, uh, scrap, like, yeah, whatever. It's kind of irrelevant what I was just saying. Um, I could lead a diamond, but uh, they have to get off the board themselves somehow. So I think I can just start working on setting up my partner's fourth spade. 
The issue with the diamond is I might like just finesse myself with the diamond if diamond's got the king and ace is the jack. Still don't see any reason to cover that. Okay, um, knock out the spade. I'm not sure, like, I can't get to the ace of hearts here. But it's just a battle between my partner and uh, Declara here. Looks like Declara's winning. Should have cashed my uh, heart. Oh no. Worked out the same, I think. 54%. Again, lots of people doing the same. Really flat board. It's been weird breaks, but flat boards. Yes, yeah, so the Diamondback after winning the King was suboptimal, to say the least. No idea what that was talking about, but uh, I'll take it. 54%. Moving up to a beautiful 51.4%. Two boards to play. 13 highs, 4, 3, 5, 1, meter act, so start with one diamond. Okay, and that's it from me. Okay, this is an awkward lead problem. What do I want to lead here? Uh, East jumped in clubs. Um, I could consider leading the queen of clubs. Ace of diamonds and ace of hearts both seem bad. Leading a spade seems bad. Queen of Clubs seems like the least bad, but but uh, I don't really have much more to say other than I really, really don't want to lead from any of these holdings. Um, tempted by a particularly out there lead of like the King of Spades, I haven't come up with a justification of why I would want to do that. Um, Queen of Clubs seems bad because like, I think they're just going to draw trumps and knock out one of my red aces and I'll lose the timing to attack spades or if that's what what needs to happen um, yeah, this, this is just pretty awful I'm gonna go with my gut and try the really out there late leader the king of spades all right so justification West has short diamonds East has uh, something I want West to track with like ace jack fourth spade and my partner to have the queen and it's create an entry to do something glorious okay I don't think it worked okay three diamonds to the queen jack there okay so clubs are one two one Oh, they're ditching a spade. That's good news. All right, let's continue with spades. See what happens. Hey, <laughs> well, that was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, that kind of worked in a weird way. 81% <laughs> Let's just look at this layout Okay, so he says jack nine fourth so a low spade works beautifully Well, not beautifully, but a lot better it allows us to get two spades a Diamond and a heart um, That works significantly better than the king of spades, but the king of spades came back um, In that my uh, east just Ditched their spade loser after they know that I've got the king queen of spades. But uh, yeah, I'm surprised. Like this was almost like the perfect layer: king of spades, knowing it's not a singleton, duck in both hands, low spade. My partner wins the queen. Red card to me. Spade rough <laughs> over to me. Down one. So almost would have worked well because they would never suspect this sort of layout. They are worried about me having like King Doubleton Spade, I guess. But if they know that I've led from Lengthen Spades, then 
<laughs> this would have worked out really well. Uh, as it was, it blows a trick technically, but uh, we got it back for an undeserved 81%. But a spade lead was the winning choice, just a, a low spade lead. Up to 55, one board to play. We got 10 highs, and my partner opened a club. Uh, so I'll bid two no trumps. Okay, now let, let's just backtrack to one no trump, please. Oh, wow, my partner passed. I've got um, 13 points and a decent hand. Um, <laughs> I'll probably go down in two no trumps, but still surprised my partner passed. Uh, we have three diamonds and two spades. If diamonds break, I've got five diamonds and two spades. And need to guess hearts in the ending, so I want to work out do I want to play a heart to the king or a heart to the jack. Uh, West passed and East didn't overcall. Uh, neither hand overcalled, so I really don't know who's got five spades. But we've got 13 opposite 10, so 23 highs. 17 missing, so I think that whoever's got five spades only has like seven or so points um, And the other one has about ten uh, It's a lot easier for West to have length in spades and be less than seven points um, But then have like precisely ten like it could be ten and seven, but much stronger and they would have just opened Anyway, uh, I just want to win and cash my diamonds and work out what's going on from there um, with seven card fit missing just the jack, it's best to play for the jack to drop in three rounds, not to finesse. Okay, so that's bad news in the sense that I've got three diamonds and two spades. If I play a diamond now, I am just doomed, so I need... Uh, West to have the Queen of Hearts and just work on hearts and hopefully get three hearts, two spades, three diamonds. Okay, there's the Queen of Hearts. So we play two rounds of hearts back to my hand. And I have to duck them both to cut to communication. So now we can go back to diamonds and set that, that up. And now we see if they can cash enough tricks. The answer was no, they couldn't cash enough tricks. So we get our eight tricks. For two no, making on the nose. Good judgment, partner. They, they always know when to pass. Anyway, 76%. Um, this is like an interesting one. Getting to two no forced me to play for the eight tricks and uh, make the contract. Whereas if I was in one no trump, maybe I should aim for just my uh, seven tricks of uh, four diamonds, two spades. Oh no, I still have to guess hearts. So you may as well guess the hearts then and there. So it didn't actually force me. Spades were six, four, uh, six, three. Um, and as you can see, West is like the really weak one. Um, so that, that little inference was good to use. Uh, well, was accurate, just uh, didn't work on this hand. Well, wasn't needed on this hand. I was sort of just forced into that play. Anyway, uh, that, that was this week's uh, Funbridge tournament. Finished with 58%. Again, some really weird distributional hands, but turning out to be flat boards. Um, again, well done to the winner. Bulls and Bears, 74%. Excellent result. Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. I wanted to give a big shout out to all my patron supporters. Uh, it really helps out a lot. And if you want to support me, check out my Patreon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.